Gluggany. What is it? <laughs> Name the seven sins. Go. I have no idea. Come on, you commit them all the time. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Greed. Okay. Envy. Yeah. Um, gluttony. Gluttony. I don't know what that gluttony. means. Gluttony. I mean, you eat a lot. Oh, I do that. <laughs> um, and then, that's a sin? Yeah. To eat a lot? Yeah, gluttony is definitely a sin. Didn't you see the movie Seven with Brad Pitt? If I did, I probably just stared at Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs>Hi, folks, welcome to the Sit Down Standards Kickstarter preview. My name is David. I'm joined as always by my favorite board gamer, my wife, Alyssa. Hello. And today we're taking a look at the two to five player take that card game, seven and seven from Times Infinity Games. Now, in this game, players are going to be competing to gain the seven virtues with their little halos or the seven sins with Double their little layers. That's right. <laughs> um, but before we determine who is the most virtuous or the most sinful. Let's talk about what's included in the game. Take it away, Alyssa. All right, in this game, since it's a card game, you will be getting a deck of cards. Yep. There's two types of cards. You're gonna have your main set of cards and these will list your sins and virtues on them. Yes, so you have your seven uh, sins, sins and, and your, your seven, seven virtues. virtues. And yep. in each card, it's half. So on one side, on one half of the card, it has a virtue, on the other half, it has a sin. Yeah. And you choose which one you wanna play mm -hmm. for those. And then you have your um, unique cards. There you have cards such as like converter cards. So these allow you to kind of flip it, mm -hmm. um, flip the card from a sin to a virtue sure. or vice versa. Yes, yeah, so maybe someone had flipped your card, so you need to flip it back. Mm -hmm. And then you also have wild cards. You have wild cards you can play that can be count as any virtue, yep. count as any sin. There's also some wild cards that are halved, so they count as either or. Yeah. And you can decide at the end which mm -hmm. one you need it to be. So now that we know what's included with the game, uh, essentially the way you play the game, it's actually a very simple game to, to learn. It's uh, What you're going to be doing is getting either the first player to get either all seven virtues or all seven uh, sins wins the game. Right. But uh, what's going to be happening during the game, a lot of these cards, when you play them, because on your turn you're either going to play a card and draw a card, mm -hmm. or you're not going to play a card and draw three cards. And again, guess how many cards you can have at the end of your turn? Seven. Seven. Yes. So very thematic there. Um, but the cards themselves, when you play a card, you'll read, you either play the sin side mm -hmm. or the virtue side, and you essentially do what the card says as an action. So let's kind of start with some of the virtue cards. Uh, they have all of them here, kindness, chastity, <laughs> charity. What, what's nice is that these cards actually, the the actual virtue makes sense. So for instance, with, with uh, humility, you allow yourself to play an extra card, but then you have to pick an opponent, and yeah. they can play an extra card. So you're being... You're being hum uh, you're having a lot of humility in there. Or you can play chastity. Yes, which, which blocks somebody. <laughs> right, Literally, exactly. Yeah. Uh, very, very mm -hmm. thematic there. Um, and then you also can play, of course, the sin side. And these are a little bit more devilish cards. Yeah. Uh, these allow you to do things like dis make somebody discard a card. Like wrath makes you destroy one another player's card. Or makes you flip a card. Yep, there's ones that allow you to, to mm -hmm. switch a card or copy like mm -hmm. lust, or excuse me, envy allows you to copy an ability from somebody else's card on the table. So the, the abilities actually make sense um, in the context of the game. Mm -hmm. um, it's very straightforward, but it's definitely a take that card game. We had a chance to play it with uh, uh, four people and uh, it, it, was, uh, it was definitely a battle. You, you get close, it's kind of, I always call this a um, boiling crab game. Yeah. Um, basically the idea is that there's all these crabs boiling in this pot, and the one that's almost about to get out, everyone pulls that crab down. Yeah. And that's what happens here. When you get to about five or six of that seven set that you need, uh, everyone comes at you. <laughs> it's interesting, we played two player, we played four player. Yeah. Two player, you play to get all 14 virtues. Yeah, that's how we played the variant. Yeah, yep. and that's definitely a back and forth, Ooh, man. Yeah, de definitely a tug of war A there. tug of war, and the four player, you either choose sends or virtues. Juice. Yeah, and you can kind of, your strategy will probably change because mm -hmm. one thing that ends up happening, like let's say you have five of the seven virtues, people will start switching those to the sin side, so now you're kind of imbalanced. But then you can start focusing on the sin side right? Um, to try to get the seven sets of the sins. So the artwork mm -hmm. in this game um, is fantastic. I like the little like cherubs and little devils. It's cute. Very, very red. cute. And then one thing too, when you're playing four player, when you just need, maybe you're doing, going towards virtues, but possibly that the sin you want to play that side of the card because that helps you out more. The ability makes more sense. Yeah, so there's sometimes yeah. it makes sense to kind of, even though you might be going for one particular set, either virtue or sin, mm -hmm. to play the opposite side because it gives you an ability you, that's more beneficial right. at that moment. And down the road, you can convert it Yeah. with a, another ability from a card or a converter card. So there's, you know, there's a lot of um, playability. Yeah, so it's it's a... It's a very simple game. It takes about 15, 20 minutes to play. It's even easier. It probably takes a few minutes to teach people. Um, but right now they're on Kickstarter, of course. Um, if you want to find out more information, what we'll do is we'll put a link right here. 
So you can click right there to head to their Kickstarter. And right now you can pick up a copy um, or pledge $18. That'll uh, be enough to pledge to get a copy of the game. And that actually includes mm -hmm. shipping in the U.S. So again, we always talk about it's nice that these Kickstarters actually include the shipping because a lot of times shipping can almost be as much as the game. Yeah. Um, so definitely if you, if you enjoy Take That card games that have actually a lot of uh, meat to them. This actually does take a little bit of uh, meat to it where mm -hmm. some of the other card games we've played are a little bit maybe more straightforward. Uh, definitely check this one out. That's called 7 and 7 from Times Infinity games. Until next time, bye. See ya.